Hey everyone, uh, what we're going to do today is look at a finite arithmetic series and we're actually going to find the sum uh, of a finite arithmetic series. So what I need to know is first we have to know the formula to find that sum of that arithmetic series and so that sum is written as follows. Okay, so we have the sum of a partial, okay, finite, uh, is S sub n is equal to n which is the number of terms okay times the average of the first term and the last term a sub n all over 2 okay and it's important to remember that a sub n okay is equal to a sub 1 plus the the difference times n minus 1 and that's going to be important here so uh, what we have to do is look at what they're gi we're given. Okay, so when we look at this, we know that the first term, a sub 1, is actually equal to 997. Okay, and then we know that a sub n is equal to the, that last term, which is 252. Okay, the problem here is if we wanted to use this formula, we don't know what n is. So we don't have any idea what n is, but we can find n. Okay, and we're going to use this formula because we know what a sub n is. a sub n is 252. So we're going to say 252 is equal to the first term, 997, okay, plus, now it's going to be plus negative 5 because the difference, the common difference here is negative 5. We're going down 5 each time. So plus negative 5 or minus 5 times n minus 1. Okay, so now we're going to simplify this and we're going to solve for n. So we have 252 is equal to 997 minus 5n plus, oops, 5n plus 5. Okay, so we have 252 is equal to um, 1002 minus 5n. So 1002, because I can combine like terms, minus 5n. So I get uh, negative 750 when I subtract 1002 from both sides equals to negative 5n. Okay, so that means n is equal to 150. There are 150 terms, and this number better be positive because it's the number of terms we're looking at. Okay, so let's go on to the second page here and finish this up. So we know that a sub 1 was 997, right? We know that a sub n was equal to 252. And now we know that n was equal to 150. And so now we can use our formula. So the sum of that partial series is equal to s sub n times, uh, is equal to 150 times the quantity 997 plus 252, 252. And that's going to be divided by 2. And when you do that, you get a decent sized number. You get 93,675. So that's how to find the sum of an arithmetic series. Well, at least a finite arithmetic series. Questions or comments, you can type them below. We'll see you next time.